in Medica are here to discuss some of the important topics regarding this vertigo and balance problems. Now vertigo and balance disorders are one of the commonest cause with which a patient comes to a routine clinic either it's been a ENT clinic or general medicine clinic or gynecology clinic orthopedics clinic will be getting patients of vertigo and balance anywhere in the medical institution so to begin with myself is dr nilotpal i am the consultant in charge of the department of neurotology here at medica super speciality hospitals kolkata and i have along with me senior ENT colleagues dr shovik roy choudhury and dr shashwati Shen Gupta doctor who are senior ENT surgeons here at Medica Hospitals. So to, to, to begin with today's discussion, I would like to ask Dr. Shovik that what actually is vertigo and what is in your opinion, what is, is that causes a vertigo or balance problem? Okay, so that's a good start. Uh, to first confusion which lies in our mind, whether the thing is spinning or it's a dizziness. So, most of the patients we are seeing before we had this opportunity of having a neurologist in between us so most of the patients as uh, they were turned into ENT in most of the times so either they were expressing something called a feeling of tipsiness a drowsiness or a feeling of imbalance or a feeling of vertigo now it is very different but very difficult for the patient concerned to actually uh, explain the symptoms which he or she is facing at that moment but we being the clinician it is our primary role to make this differentiation whether the patient is having a true vertigo or it is a general imbalance or a vertigo like feeling or a dizziness that he is carrying uh, so to start with as Nilotpal has just conferred on me the question um, vertigo is per se not a disease it is a symptom where there is a spinning of head which is arising from a number of reasons and it is definitely not related to the common dizziness or imbalance which is a specific symptom where the patient is having a spinning and which is definitely making the whole of the world around the patient oxytocin. What are the causes? What are the basic general causes which leads to a vertigo or balance problems? Very good question. Uh, first, we have to understand uh, what are the systems that maintain balance in our body. Okay, so there are basically uh, two main uh, zones that maintain the balance. One is situated in our ears, that means both sides of ears. This is known as vestibular system or the peripheral uh, balance system we can say in a uh, common language and another is the central balance system that resides inside our brain now this when this peripheral balance system that presents inside our ears they um, gives some signal that something is wrong with them then the central balance system decides that yes now there is going to be a vertigo like symptom now there are some other things that we must remember uh, that it gives some input to the central balance system and uh, they comes from our eyes as well as our musculoskeletal system. For example, if a person, uh, uh, an aged person most commonly that we see uh, has some uh, gross visual impairment, he or she may uh, experience vertigo more often than others. And if mainly our this peripheral vestibular system or peripheral uh, balance system is diseased, there are so many things that can affect these symptoms, these uh, these uh, systems that are uh, that may be transient, that may be uh, long-term one. So the whole causes of vertigo can be dis uh, divided into basic two parts. One is peripheral causes that comes from our ears as well as sometimes from our um, visual cues or the musculoskeletal cues also. And the other cause that resides inside our brain. Some uh, problems in our cerebellum or our brain stem or uh, internal auditory meters that like different parts of brain. So that is the two cross differentiation part. Thank you very so, much. So that is a catch. So yes. just to elaborate, so these are the three parts yes. which are maintaining in tandem to 
work for the balance of the body yes. and anything getting disturbed can maintain present as a vertigo vertigo right okay so to simplify it what i can understand is the two basic systems that are involved in maintenance of balance is the inner ear and the cerebellum brain stem region that is the posterior part of the brain and any lesion or any jeopardization of these two system may lead to vertigo and imbalance sure. that is thoroughly explained now i would like to ask dr shobik regarding one specific thing is that out of these causes is anything related to vertigo or any disorder is it life threatening or is it serious that we should keep in mind yes. whenever a vertigo balance patient comes to us yes definitely vertigo can be really bad at times because uh, it is differently at two aspect so sure. when the patients are presenting to us some patients are walking to our chamber with a vague complaint of a dizziness as i specified before also that she had a reeling like feeling some days back and again she had the recurrence of the symptom and that's why he wants to take an opinion take a honest advice and another aspect when the patient is in real distress he basically has to he or she need to take a help of a, another person to just come and sit in the opd chair to take the advice and these are the real mane aspect where the seriousness lies right so and that serious patients can be because of some life threatening conditions in the form of a brain stroke where the stroke is involving the uh, vessels of our brain leading to some real life threatening conditions along with the presentation of what i go and along with that there can be stroke in the form of a ear stroke like remember we had a few days back one famous singer called uh, mrs alka yagnak who had a ear stroke and followed by uh, a deafness of one year though she recovered as i heard so that kind of patient also present to us with sudden onset vertigo which do not life threatening can be a real serious condition in the form of a permanent loss of hearing and that can be because of a sudden imbalance of as dr shashwati said of the peripheral system of the ears so vertigo minimal can really be bad at some times so it is a common journal among the neurotologists that any person who is just taking a stretcher and coming to our chamber uh, for a vertigo he that patient is really having some real trouble and mostly it is a central pathology or a stroke which she is or she is having at that moment